Well, the ingredients are all laid out, but we can't seem to find the chef. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Excuse me, Chef Flynn. Two sets of hands. Fire four duck, two VIP. And get my mother out of the dining room. I'm sort of a player in this film about my strange son who figured out his life so early. I need your blowtorch. This is wonderful. Did you hear what I said? Yes. I just try and make sense of how this happened. I hated having to be at school eight hours a day. I would just be drawing dishes, not really focused on what I was doing there. I asked my mom, can I be homeschooled? Welcome to my bedroom slash workspace. My sous vide supreme juicer and my math book, which you go away. It was mostly friends in the beginning. Welcome to Eureka. Friends of friends, and then friends of friends of friends. It just kept growing. This is a deconstructed Caesar salad. On top is a Parmesan jelly. Dzisiaj na Tobie Smaku niesamowity gość, e, najbardziej utalentowany i najmłodszy kucharz na świecie, Chef Flynn. Hi Flynn. Huh? I'm happy to be with you today. It's nice to be here. So you just came today in Poland? Arrived a few hours ago. Yeah. yeah. First time in Poland? First time ever. So the weather is cold today for you, no? It's the same as New York. Yeah? Yeah. It's Which a little less gray in New York, but uh -huh. it's the same temperature. But you're from California, yeah? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and now you, you are in Manhattan because you have a restaurant in Manhattan. Yeah, I've been in Manhattan for four years now. Uh -huh. And how long the restaurant is open now? Only nine months. Nine months. Yeah. The name is Gem. 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 Yeah. Gem. 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 What does it mean, Gem? It's, uh, it's my mom's name backwards. Okay. Um, just sort of an homage to, uh -huh. to her. If somebody don't know you, who you are, where you find this passion, why you are the most impressed uh, young chef in the world? Uh, I, I started cooking when I was 10. Um, I was sort of getting very bored of the food that my parents were cooking, sort of the same thing over and over again, and I wanted something a little bit more kind of interesting or, or new. It started as just a very kind of like casual hobby, uh -huh. um, and then very quickly became very sort of enthralled by it. Um, and when I was very, very, kind of very early on when I started cooking, um, I wanted to get a cookbook, and uh, so I went to the bookstore, and I picked up the French Laundry cookbook, mm -hmm. um, which I had no clue what that restaurant was, what Michelin stars were, anything like that. And it just sort of kind of blew my mind as to what food could be and what cooking was. Um, and so from that point, kind of became obsessed with the slightly more kind of creative and, and elegant side of cooking. Um, and so I started working in restaurants when I was 12. So I, the name was Eureka. Yeah, Eureka. Yeah. yeah, that was that was the pop-up that I had, and I had to, I just was getting all this knowledge and all this information, and I wanted a way to kind of express it myself. So I started doing these things in my mom's house once a month. Um, started out just like cooking for like parents, friends, and kind of started to grow and grow and grow. But it was really just a way for me to try out all these new techniques I was learning. And so I started doing that when I was about 13. Did that for a few years. Um, kind of while I was still working in restaurants. Um, a little bit later, sort of like did them, I did pop-ups in New York, did them in San Francisco, kind of would move around doing things different places. Um, then I, I finished high school and I went to, I, I worked around Europe for a little bit. I worked in Oslo and Copenhagen. Um, and then moved back to New York four years ago now. Um, I did a couple pop-ups there for a little bit to kind of like find, figure out the city. And then opened Gem nine months ago. And you are in now in Poland to do the promotion of your documentary, yeah? yeah. How do you feel about that? You have 19 years old and you have a documentary already? It's cool! Yeah, I it's mean, it's, it's definitely an interesting thing. To me, it was never, I mean, it was never something super kind of daunting. It was strange. Uh, the documentary who made it, his name's Cameron Yates. Um, and he's just become more of like a family friend at this point. Um, I mean, I spent five years mm -hmm. of my life with him. And so it's, I mean, it's great to finally see it done. Mm -hmm. So it was always this thing where cameras always there filming and now it's done and in Poland and going all these places. Um, and I mean, it, it, I think it's a really cool thing to have it come out sort of when my career is actually just starting because it's sort of showing the process leading up to where it is now. Um, not sort of how most documentaries are kind of when people's careers are almost over or they're fully, fully successful in every regard. I mean, I think, which is why you want to make it too, it's showing sort of the beginning of it. We have a writer from the New York Times coming. They told us you need to be prepared for what's going to happen with this. Did you get it? That's so cool. 
Darius' story reflects many of our revealing pop culture obsessions. Grosh's kids' super parenting. Okay, fine. Every time something comes out on me, they rub some people in the wrong way. That chef smashing you or whatever? Uh-huh. That's ridiculous. None of the press I've asked for. At what age do you think you're going to become nearing. a regular chef? I think I'm nearing that point. He wants to be taken seriously. This pressure is part of this business. I need one more set of hands. I need hands! He wants the top of the game, and that's fine dining. What kind of kitchen is you are cooking? I mean, the whole idea with the restaurant is that it's very, very personal. I, mean, I, I designed the restaurant, I, I kind of wanted you to come, and by the end, you just feel like you know me. So the food is really just whatever I'm inspired by and whatever I'm, I'm cooking. I mean, it's all very kind of local, and we work a lot with the farmers in New York, inspired by travels I've done and kind of everything throughout the world. So yeah, first time in Poland now, yeah? First time in Poland, yeah. Did you know something about Polish cuisine? You know some ingredients There's a, there's a restaurant in New York that's open very late that we all go usually uh -huh. after work. Uh -huh. called, uh, it's called Veselka, and that's... Uh, we get pierogies at like three in the morning. That is pretty much the extent of my knowledge, uh, but uh, I'm excited to see it. I mean, I, I've, well, I mean, I really like. I've spent a lot of time in Germany and sort of more Eastern European, and kind of really like the food, um, and so I've been very interested to see. Uh, a very specific style. Salt, lemon, and butter. Uh, Cacio e pepe. I hate papaya. I'm not the best baker. Probably this place called Squirrel in Los Angeles. It's either Italian or Japanese. A knife. We have for you uh, today some police dishes. Okay. Yeah. Truly. And tell me, Finn, this is true, you start to cook with by the book, like you told me, but you start cooking with YouTube too? Yeah, I mean, I, I learned a lot of the sort of kind of classic techniques um, by just Googling them. I mean, there's such a wealth of knowledge with the internet. I mean, it, it gave me sort of the insights into kitchens, the knowledge of how to do all these things on, in a very sort of instant aspect, as opposed to having to go work somewhere and having to learn that way, I could spend few hours googling different techniques and watching videos and sort of uh, learning them that way and then practicing them and, uh, yeah, at home. And if you have to give some uh, ideas to the young cook, what have to do to be a good cook, a good chef? Cooking? Well, you have to do a lot of cooking. Yeah. I mean, I definitely think part of it is never feeling like you know it all uh -huh. and always sort of having the humility of like everything you're experiencing, everything you're doing is to, to learn and to kind of I, I've always said, like, I, I think the best way to kind of get into cooking is to drive yourself by the idea of just learning as much as possible, opposed to sort of by having goals of celebrity or a restaurant, whatever, The having your, your goals being to learn as much as you can, mm -hmm. so you never feel, finally feel like you, like, reached a point and you can kind of continue to learn and grow. Do you expect something about this kind of Polish cuisine? I was very interested, I feel like, everywhere, sort of having this, like, inspiration of, like, very classic mm -hmm. cultures with food that's not really globally known and then a lot of like young chefs kind of doing their own take on it. Mm -hmm. I've always found really, I mean that's why I went to go work in Scandinavia. Mm -hmm. Very similar thing of like a very sort of old kind of way of cooking that isn't very popular to the general public and just getting young chefs to really kind of shine the spotlight on. I know you're tired because you just came here today, yeah. So I'm very happy you you get time for me. Yeah, and, I'm glad uh, you do this. And uh, the people, the new viewers of uh, Tuba Smaku, uh, thank you very much. Musicie konecznie iść do kina i zobaczyć dokument właśnie o filmie. Jest to niesamowity talent kulinarny. Ja wiem, że długo, długo będziecie jeszcze słyszeć o filmie. I just uh, do the promotion of your documentary, Great. yeah. Yeah. So, thank you. I see what you say is good. Thank you very much for so uh, the time you give us and uh, all the best for you. Thanks so much. I don't think any of this would have happened if I had a very traditional mom. There's a huge part of it that's just letting me do my own thing. At what age do you think you're going to start looking like an adult? Some might say I'll be a boy forever. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just have a uh, no, this is apple cider. Yeah, I, I